Previously, we've looked at the binomial distribution to show it was a member of the natural exponential family of distribution. Now we're going to look at the normal distribution. So if you remember the form of the normal distribution, you have two parameters instead of one. So f of x given mu and sigma squared. We're dealing with the um, univariate rather than multivariate case here for simplicity. 1 over the square root of 2 pi sigma squared times the exponential of minus x minus mu to be squared over 2 sigma squared. And as with all the other cases, we do this in steps. So step 1 is take logs. So log of f of x given mu sigma squared is equal to think about the form of this this is essentially my 2 pi sigma squared to the power of minus a half so it's minus a half log 2 pi sigma squared minus the exponentials just cancels out so x minus mu to be squared over 2 sigma squared and then we get step 2 is exponentiate so f of x given mu sigma squared is equal to exponential of minus a half log 2 sigma square 2 pi sigma squared minus x minus mu to be squared over 2 sigma squared remember what we want this in terms of is f of y given mu theta to be in some for f, f of y given theta to be equivalent to phi is equal to exponential of y theta minus b of theta over a of phi plus c of y given phi. So, let's have a bit of a think about how we're going to do this. So we have f of x given mu sigma squared is equal to, my x's are just contained over here. So that's what I need to concentrate on. I need to expand out that brackets. So I have minus x squared. That squared would be minus 2x mu and times a minus is a plus 2x mu. And it's going to then be minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared. Minus a half log 2 pi sigma squared. And notice what's quite nice is 2 pi, 2 sigma squared is embedded within this and it's here. So we start thinking about that could be nice. Of course the exponential, we think about what we want to keep together and what we don't need to bother keeping together. So we'll keep together 2x mu minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared and we'll shift this across so minus x squared over 2 sigma squared minus a half log 2 pi sigma squared 
Okay, so we're one step closer. We're going to divide across here so we have it just in terms of x. So we have exponential of x mu minus a half mu squared all over mu sigma squared. So I've just divided above and below the line by 2 minus x squared over 2 sigma squared minus a half log 2 pi sigma squared. Don't need to change the rest. So now what I have is I have theta is equivalent to mu. So hence b of theta is a half of theta squared and a of phi equals mu squ sigma squared even. So all of these terms are functions of my data x and my phi, which is sigma squared. So now I can find my expected value of x, which as you may recall is the first differential with respect to theta of b of theta which is quite nice and simple here. It's d d theta of a half theta squared, which if you bring everything down and across, you get that that's equal to theta, which is equivalent to mu, which is correct as per your own knowledge. And the variance of x is a of phi times the second differential with respect to theta of b of theta, which is sigma squared times d d theta of theta, which is sigma squared. And that's correct as per your knowledge. Then the only remaining thing to look at is what's the canonical link function. So how is your data linked to the expected value? So we think about writing our expected value and how is our data related to that. So it's just the immediate um, identity link function.